In order to become a member of a journal, prospective users must register with their desired journal site. Upon registering, users will not have any role assigned to them until the administrator of the site chooses to designate a specific role to them. Either way, once you have logged into your OJS website, you will automatically be brought to your user homepage. Depending upon your role within the site, the options available for selection will differ. The first role of each site is the site administrator. On the site administrator's homepage, you will see the My Journals heading under which each existing journal will be listed. To create a new journal, click on Site Administrator. A new screen will then load with the subheadings of Site Management and Administrative Functions. Under the Site Management subheading, select Hosted Journals. Once the new screen loads, you will see the heading Journals. Notice that despite your navigation through the site, the name of the journal and its standard functions, which are visible at the top of the page, have not changed. This is in order to ensure that users are always aware of the journal in which they are working. Under the Journals heading, you will see the subheadings of Journal Title, Path, Order, and Action. If there are any journals currently in existence, these will be listed. We will get back to the function of each respective subheading in a moment. To create a new journal, select Create Journal. You will be taken to a new screen titled Journal Settings. Here you will see the necessary components for basic journal creation. You are required to enter a journal title and path. However, the journal description is optional. Click the Enable this journal to appear publicly on the site box, which allows the journal name to appear on the front page of OJS in case of a multiple journal install or a site with no redirect. Once you have entered the desired information, be sure to click Save or else your journal creation will not be recorded. After clicking Save, you will be redirected to the previous journals page. You will now see your newly created journal here along with any other pre-existing journals. The Order subheading will allow you to change the order of any journals listed. The default is an order of addition to the site, but if you would like to change this to alphabetical order or order of importance, for example, this will allow you to do so. Action subheadings give you two options, Edit and Delete. By selecting Edit, you will be redirected to the Journal Settings page, where you will be able to change any of the basic journal information. Alternatively, by selecting Delete, you will be prompted to confirm the deletion of the journal and all of its contents. Congratulations! Once you have completed the previous steps, you have successfully created a new journal. The creator is always automatically set as journal manager, so this can be changed at any time by the site administrator. You can then proceed to the journal management page by clicking on the journal title, which will enable you to set up your new journal to your desired specifications.